Hey gang, so I'm not really sure how this is all going to work out, but uh, I am going to open this up, see what's inside. It's a lock and load uh, package that was sent to me, and uh, I think inside it will be uh, a new Line of Fire magazine, which I think is retailing for $50 or something like that. Uh, And as I told you, uh, while I I do want to uh, be a supporter of oh, there's something different in here, okay. Uh, I do want to be a supporter of Lock and Load. I love their games and the rest of it. I, I've kind of run out of uh, well wishes from the perspective that um, you know I, I keep saying things are going to get better based on what I'm told, and they haven't. And now here's an opportunity. This is uh, one more step along the line for us to see if indeed uh, we know that they can print things now, uh, paper, right, and maps and things like that. But we still haven't seen counter uh, counters and the you know the improvement since the, the debacle of version 14 or issue 14 of Line of Fire. And so I'm, I'm excited to see what the counters are going to be like, and hopefully this will be a leading indicator that. Uh, the uh, long uh, awaited and long delayed uh, Heroes of the Pacific will be something equivalent or better. So I'm going to open this up first. I've already I've seen a printed copy of this previously. We're going to go straight to the counters. Ah, these baggies are always tight, aren't they? So I'm going to hope that uh, the counters are in here and they are. All right. All right, so this is this new format of uh, rounded counter that the new owners wanted to go with. And these are all Mujuddin 1985 uh, counters for the, for the scenarios that are in here, which are uh, pretty cool. And these pop out really nicely. Now, they do leave a, uh, a side nib which is interesting. Counters are a really nice thickness. They're well centered. Uh, you know, there's a little bit, that's a little close there maybe, but just trying to look at these overall. Let me zoom in for you guys to have a look and then I'll have a look at them in a second. Yeah, these have all got side nibs. I'm not too fussed about it, given that how how nice the actual counters look. You know, these these counters actually look pretty good. The side nibs are probably going to bother some people. It's ve it's actually on the kind of the top edge of the counter. It's not. Oh, you can't see. It's on the top edge of the counter. It's not actually on the. Oh, it is the whole width. I don't know if you can see that properly, let me try and zoom in here. You know, it's really not a big deal when you pick up the counter. You can barely feel it. Uh, you know, the artwork is pretty typical. This is all aligned well, and it looks like a really nice, uh, really nice print job. Pop. These pop out super nice. And they don't fall out like, you know, some of the Legion counters kind of annoy me. They, they just fall out. Uh, that's <laughs> Look at this little guy. I guess you just roll a D6 on that bad boy. Asterix on the range. That's interesting. And it's self rally. All right. Oh, I see. Okay. All right. Let me. Uh, I just dropped the unit. Let me get it. Yeah. So here you here you have it. Uh, I don't want these guys. Oh, that's cool. Little Soviet units there. Some villages. Fortifications. I'm just trying to look for something new. Oh, and there you go. Here's a this one counter here. The top row. Actually, this right-hand row at the top is uh, just a little bit off. I'll show you. See here? But it corrects itself down here. These are all... Ooh, that's on the edge. Let's see what that one looks like. It's funny that it's uh, just on certain rows. So that's kind of rolling off the edge there. Well, look, I tell you what, this is a marked improvement. <laughs> you 
compared to the crap that came out in 14 that they acknowledged and tried to fix for us. But this this is a problem, right? That That's not a good counter. And all of these have bleed over. And here's the thing. This is why, if you'll notice the gap, see the gap between, uh, where are we here? down here? See the gap? It's one thing to have this extra width, but if... If it's off, it's off, and so it's not going to make a difference. And I don't understand why uh, you would have this width of gap between it, spacing between each unit. I don't see how that benefits you as a printer or as a publisher to have this extra width on the on the physical on the counter sheet for you. Because if it's off, it's off. It's off the edge, and it's going to bleed over to here. It won't. If it's so bad that it's going to bleed onto the next unit then you know the printer shouldn't be sending it to you see they start out fine here even if they're just a little bit off these guys look like they should be further to the left um, yeah and you know look this guy's a little high here perhaps there's high down down these are all even here but then they start to bleed off on this side just a little bit I mean, that's really, really close. I would imagine this is all offset to the right just a little bit too much. That's a shame. Yeah, see, look, where, see here with the target, the target's off. It's all off to the right. These are all okay, though. Although, is that me or does that look crooked? You know, and I'm being super picky about this. I really am because when you've had as many false starts and as many misses, I, I owe it to myself and I feel like I owe it to everybody that I've said, hey, it's going to get better, that it, it, it's better. And this is better, but it's not good enough. You know, it's a really good start, but it's not good enough. And uh, I would play with these counters. It's not going to bother me. This, you know, this guy here with the six and the red red leading off here the edge I'm not sure that I'm going to cry about that I'm just trying to get this camera set for you uh, let's see if we can focus please focus dude there you go you know that, that 6 is rolling off the edge and that's not acceptable and then this, all this is over to the right so that some of these counters are just not going to work the rest of this is okay these are a little high and then they come down. You can see them come down, right? You notice it most most markedly here with uh, with this uh, this tail off. They tail off down. Um, well, there you have it. It is what it is, right? Hey, lock and load. Keep at it. I I, I love the maps. The maps are printed great. Uh, they're nice, thick stock good quality maps, uh, really interesting maps. The print job on the magazine is fantastic. Uh, it's all full color, etc., etc. Nicely bound. Um, hey, well, so let's have a look at the compendium. Let's see how that all looks. Do we want to do that? Here are the counters on the back. Let's see if this is any better. This just became a long video, sorry guys. Uh, you know, I think these look great. Now these are perfect. <clears throat> these uh, these edges are good. The font size. This font looks a little small here. It looks like they're even maybe decrease the size of the font or my eyesight is screwed but that is a four believe it or not um everyone can curse mark walker for that for choosing that font iconic as it may be yeah those fours are just really hard to read um these are beautiful these are now here i would say there's potential for these to have been no they look fine actually no they actually all look good these are all centered would you say that's off? This one here is just off just a little bit to the right. Once again, I don't think that's uh, at the level where I would bitch and moan about that. 
I'd be really happy with all of these counters here. So uh, that is uh, interesting that between these two counter sets, these two print jobs, there is such a significant difference in the, the quality of the print run. Uh, and I wonder why that is, uh, whether these will run first and then over time the machine is uh, you know, adjusted. I still don't understand the space between, but nevertheless, fantastic job on the World at War Compendium Volume 2 counters. I would be uh, taking a hard look at these and thinking that some folks are going to want replacements on these. I would not ask for replacements on these um, uh, in general. I would say these are all fine. Although this, this this crooked line here is kind of comical. Uh, anyway, all right, there you go. That's it. So that's the unvarnished raw reaction. Good job, lock and load. Keep working hard on making this better, please.